What's going on guys? I'm Hunter Constantine and welcome to Trigger Press. I'm a professional shooter and professional firearms instructor. Today we're here to teach you how to zero your red dot on a pistol. We're going to be using a Sig Sawyer P322 with a Hollow Sun 507K. This is a 22 caliber pistol, but the same principles apply no matter what caliber you're shooting and what red dot you have on your handgun. Some first considerations you need when mounting this red dot is make sure that you're using some sort of thread locker. I prefer blue Loctite and all you need is a dab. You don't need to overdo it just in case that optic needs to come off, but you wanna make sure it's secure so it does not move after you start your strings of fire and continued use with that pistol. When zeroing a pistol, you always wanna make sure that you have a paper target uh, to zero on. Steel is great, it's super fun, but it doesn't give you the necessary feedback you need to actually see where your rounds are impacting. So first things first, what distance should you zero your red dot at? It's dependent on the situation and the caliber that you're using. For this 22 pistol, I'm gonna do 10 yards. I do 10 yards on my other 22 caliber firearms and I found that it's very useful, mainly point of aim, point of impact at almost any distance that I typically shoot at. It's a range toy, small vermin, things like that, nothing too serious. For nine millimeter, I like 12 yards. Some people like 25. Again, it's all personal preference on how you like the ballistics of your projectile that you're shooting. If you have mastered the fundamentals of holding your gun and controlling recoil, you can do this freehand and that's what I'll be doing today. Otherwise, I recommend getting a bench and some sort of brace to put the pistol on so there's no extra movement in that dot. We got a fresh battery in the dot, it's mounted correctly, we're at 10 yards and we have a fresh target to shoot at. We're gonna be starting at the top bullseye target and seeing where our initial impacts are. We'll figure out what to do after that. Got a loaded magazine in my pocket right here. We've got some uh, Federal 22. All right, let's go check the group on the target. I was holding my red dot dead center in the black of this bullseye, and you can see we had three impact points. This shot was from a bad trigger press. These two are going to be the ones I feel most accurate with. And I always like to shoot a group of three so I have uh, a better controlled variable to know when I need to move. Hollow Sun uh, provides us a nice zeroing tool. When you're starting to make adjustments on your red dot sight, when I was first started shooting, I had a lot of issues with this, um, and a close friend put this into perspective, but you just put go in front of the direction you need the bullets to move. So if I'm impacting left, I need the bullets to go right. So I'm going to turn this little dial right here that has an R to represent right. I'm going to turn this right, which in this case is going to be counterclockwise. Um, to go four and a half inches on a 22 at 10 yards, it's going to be a lot of clicks, probably somewhere in like the 24 to 30. So we're just gonna go ahead, crank that sucker down, make our adjustment and see where we're at. Okay, so that's 30 clicks. Ideally, if those clicks are right, we should see our impacts just above that zero zone on the target. All right, guns on safe, let's check it out. So here's our next shot of three. Um, again, we got, we got one low. We got two around in the same elevation, but we're looking pretty good on center. I'm actually gonna dial it back. So we did 30 clicks to move over. I'm just gonna dial it back three clicks, three clicks to the left, um, just to see if we can get these a little bit more averaged on center. We're also gonna bring it down on this one too. So again, you just wanna put go in front of it. So we need to go down. So we're gonna turn it down. On the elevation adjustment, you can see counterclockwise is up, clockwise is down. So we're gonna go clockwise uh, and we're gonna do about six clicks and see what that does for us. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna go back left, three clicks. One, two, three. All right, back to 10. Let's see if we can do it. Awesome, we're getting really close. So it looks like the elevation is almost nearly perfect. Uh, it's kind of bracketing this one inch ring right here. Uh, it looks like we're still a little bit right. So we're gonna push this left just a little bit more um, and see if we can get our group nice and center in that one inch circle. So we're gonna go back left. We're just gonna do another three clicks to the left. One, two, three. And again, if you remember, I said 24 to 30 clicks. So now we're back to that 24 mark that I initially said from that 30. And I think we'll be able to get all three into that one inch circle. All right, I pulled my first shot, so we fired four this time. This shot over here was the one that I pulled. These three were the ones that I shot. It looks like we're still hugging right a little bit. 
And I'm starting to think it might be my trigger press a little bit, but we are going to, again, just adjust it left a little bit more. All right, let's go check out the group. All right, guys, it looks like we have our final group here. We have three rounds touching in the bottom of the circle. These two floaters are just user air from shooting freehand. If you guys were using a bench and a bag, it'd be a lot more stable and secure and you'll have less variance of air, such as those two shots. But as you can see from when we started, we had groups hanging out all the way left. We brought it in closer, brought it in closer until we got to this final group. So these are the steps to zero that red dot on your pistol and you can repeat this for any red dot that you have on any pistol with any caliber and you'll be good to go. I can't wait to put more rounds through this gun and really see what it's capable of, but go ahead, use this information, get your gun zeroed, make sure your shots are going where you want them to. Check back in with Trigger Press, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll catch you next time.